I want to thank everybody who's participated in the We the People platform that the White House has set up so we can hear directly from you, uh, the American people, about the issues you care about. Today we're very pleased to talk to you about a petition that many people signed uh, about making the Chief of the National Guard Bureau a member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The Guard has obviously been very important to the United States for so many years, um, but particularly in the last 10 years, we've seen unprecedented service by members of the National Guard in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, many Americans have been called up and have had to serve multiple tours of duty in harm's way. And it's this understanding that really brought this issue to the focus uh, of making sure that our Guard had a seat at the table uh, in the Joint Chiefs. Um, so the President signed the National Defense Authorization Act, which makes uh, General McKinley a member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. So many Americans who are part of our National Guard, uh, again, can be confident uh, that their interests are represented and getting directly to the President. And that's why the President was pleased to hear from citizens uh, through petitions like this, and that's why he's pleased to hear from General McKinley today uh, about what's on the minds of Americans in all 50 states who are part of our Guard.